Hello, we are Team Rudra, rover uniquely developed for research and analysis. We are official Mars rover team of SRM Institute of Science and Technology. Having some setbacks over past few years, we are back again stronger than ever. We present to you prototype Mars rover R24. We are a team of 47 undergrads from diverse fields of science and engineering. Our team is divided into five domains, electronics, mechanical, coding, life science, corporate. The manual control of our rover employs a differential drive system. This system utilizes skid steering enabling precise tank turning maneuvers. Manual control is achieved by transmitting linear and angular velocity commands to the rover's microcontroller over a robust 433 MHz communication link. This high frequency transmission ensures a reliable and low latency command delivery. Upon receiving the commands, the microcontroller dynamically computes the necessary angular velocities for each wheel. This allows the rover to execute a variety of turns from gradual arcs to sharp pivots, depending on the situational requirements. The telemetry data is concurrently received via 433 MHz link, providing real-time feedback on rover's operational status. Mechanical domain is responsible for design and operation of the rover, focusing on arm, drive and other mechanical components that are necessary for the rover's functioning. This year we have improvised our unique reconfigurable passive suspension systems where each leg of rover has its own linear actuator to full control over the wheel track, wheel base and the ground clearance of minimum 20cm to 33cm max which allows the rover to avoid any boulder by passing over it. The rover's unique reconfigurable drive allows to adapt to challenging terrain with a steep angle. While traversing slopes, rover's limbs are actuated to bring the center of mass inside the support polygon, allowing for a broad range of climb. This feature is the rover from top toppling in any worse condition. Our robotic manipulator of 6 degree of freedom has been made up of aluminium box channel. Both arm slings are actuated by two two-stage cycloidal drives with reduction ratio of 1 is to 31, helping us by improving flexibility as it can provide more rotational than linear actuator arm by reducing backslash, as it can stop at any given angle providing a range of 0 to 270 degree of rotation. This year we also worked upon unique wrist joint of arm replacing the conventional YPR to RPR roll pitch roll powered by two independent stepper motor coupled with two coaxial warm and warm build assembly for roll and pitch of end effector providing the capability to sustain its position with required torque to lift 5 kg of object and do any task like flipping switch and tightening bolt etc. We are using Lite Panda Delta as our main microcomputer and STM Delta F407 as our main microcontroller which are communicated via UART. For BioMission, we are using an additional STM Delta F401 board for collecting data from various sensors present on board. Both of the microcontrollers are communicating via CAN module. For power electronics, we are using 4 5S LiPo batteries in parallel which can sufficiently provide power to the whole rover for around 90 minutes. We are also using an array of buck converters for powering various components at different potential. Our rover is also equipped with a battery monitoring system which provides battery's potential, current and temperature readings directly to the base station. For the drive and arm actuators, we are using 24 volt DC planetary gearbox with a torque rating of 200 kgcm. Our rover also has an emergency kill switch which cuts off the power for all the actuators. The science payload consists of two main parts, the bioarm and the biobox. The bioarm is equipped with a linear actuator, an auger, sensor for gases, humidity and temperature and a microscope for analyzing the soil surface. A scale down on auger indicates the depth of soil. A claw mechanism is being developed to collect rock samples. The linear actuator extends the bioarm, collecting the soil sample. Once we've gathered the soil sample, the auger transports it to the biobox situated on the back of our chassis. We can see here the three main steps that are soil sample navigation, collection and also transfer in the biobox for further analysis. In the biobox, the soil is carefully distributed into three falcon tubes and a cuvet designated per site. We perform two chemical assays to analyze the soil composition and the universal pH indicator to determine the pH of soil. The results are being seen through digital cameras inside the biobox. 
our team has developed an in-house software for spectroscopic analysis. This software provides both generalized and specific results, allowing us to gain valuable insights into the soil properties. The soil samples to be retrieved is stored in a sealed, sterilized plastic container, which is closed after sample deposition via the auger arm. For navigation, we designed our stat to be tested in gazebo as well as real-time scenarios with just a change in policy. The arm's inverse kinematics were solved using MATLAB and ported to C++ and tested in gazebo. For a change from ROS, we developed our own custom asynchronous application using Axio in C++. Localization is achieved through extended Kalman filter which merges odometry data from the wheel encoders, IMU data from Intel RealSense D435i and GNSS data. This multi-sensor approach ensures precise localization without drifting. Our path planning is incremental, employing RRT star to generate waypoints. The RRT star operates with an occupancy map constructed from point cloud data using an oak tree structure. Microcontroller was programmed using Zephyr r 2 for its board agnostic capabilities. The differential drive as well as PID were both implemented at a microcontroller level for smooth and responsive control. As engineering students, we want to push our limits by participating in this challenge. This challenge requires an unprecedented amount of skill, dedication and commitment. And that is what we seek by participating in the ERC challenge.